So now we'll look at how we can check the API response for a put or post request. So what we have is we have this simple form right here where we submit a surname. And if we look at serve, if we look first look at index.html, we can see that the form is for slash travelers and it's it's post or put method. And they're kind of the same here. And we have the surname field right here. So what will happen with this is if body parser is mounted, it will, um, in the request body, when we submit a put or post request to slash travelers, it will create an, a surname field and it will capture whatever input we write into this text box right here. So if we look at server.js and for this slash travelers, um, this is and for the put root or post root, they work the same again. Um, they've mounted this middleware function called the travelers right here. And um, by the way, they've used body parts of all roots, so we know that the, the surname will have been put into the body. And then what it does is it creates a data object, and if the surname field exists in the request body, which it does. Um, and it'll look at what that surname field is, and then it will set the data to have the correct keys and values to represent information about that explorer. I think these are all like Italian explorers. Actually, um, Colombo is Spanish, I think. I don't know. Anyway, and then it JSONs that data back. So if I put here into here Polo, and I submit this, what this will do is it'll look at the surname and it will convert it to lowercase and it will get this case to be polo. Then it'll fill out the data with all of this and JSON that data back. So if I submit that now, we can see that um, it, it's actually um, presented it right here, but we do have a JSON response right here if we look at the Chrome developer tools. And if I click on that and I click on response, we can see that we have the JSON response right here. So this is what we need to check. So if we go to a functional test.js, we're here right now for this test right here. And what we have is we have a chidot request to the um, server, which is the name of our app, which has been imported. And then we have put uh, slash travelers. And what we need to do here is we need to call a method called a dot send. And inside the dot send, um, we put the object that we want to send. And remember though, we want to send an object where we have this surname like this. So we wanna, and we're gonna test it with the surname Columbo. Um, I think Free Code Camp have also specified that, yeah, this is what they want um, us to try sending it with, surname Columbo. So um, what we can do is this send method allows us to put in um, request body fields into this JSON object. And this will be treated as if um, body parser has picked them up and put them in the request body. So the request body, like when we used body parser, has a surname field and its value is Columbo. Then we want to make sure that it's returned the correct data. So we want to move this out of the way first because this will fail all our tests. And let's see what we need to test here. So the first thing they want us to test is that the status is equal to 200. So if I put this in here, we can see that um, the status code right here is 200. So that's the first thing we need to test for. So we want to say um, assert dot equal, and we want to check if the response, which is called res in this case, status and we want to make sure that this is set to 200. Next thing we want to uh, test for is that uh, the type is this application slash JSON. That's like that tells you how the um, request content is to be passed I guess and this is actually in the request header so if you look here we can see that this content dash type thing is been set to application JSON. So this is a JSON response as we can see. And uh, I'm just gonna double check this. The way we need to do this, this will be stored in a field in the response called type. So we wanna call assert equal again. And we wanna set check if the type of the response is equal to application. Um, I'm just gonna copy it just to make sure there's no errors. We wanna make sure that this is equal to application JSON. There we go. Um, that needs a T there. Okay, so let's look at the next thing that we need to test now. So we want to check if the body name is equal to this Cristoforo. And um, we can, if we put Colombo in here and submit it, um, we can see here that it is 
the name field should be Cristoforo like this. So that's what we need to test. So remember that this JSON object right here, this actual object is stored in the text field of the um, of the JSON, uh, of the request, sorry, of the response. So in the response.txt, we have this um, JSON right here. So what we want to do is check if the in the body of the response, sorry, not the text field, it should be in the response body. Um, we want to check if the uh, response is body, so rest.body. And then this um, field that we're looking for is the uh, name field right here. So we want to check if this name, and we want to check if that is equal to this Christopher right here. And where they got that from once again was in um, server.js because we can see that if Columbo was taken in, it should be returning Cristoforo in the name field. The data's name field should be that. Um, so the next thing we want to test, which is the final thing, is we want to check if the surname is equal to Columbo. And again, in the um, server.js, the um, surname field is set to Columbo. And here as well, we can see that in the uh, response, the surname field is set to Columbo. So we need to check that. And once again, we can access the uh, fields of the response from the body. So we can say assert.equal, and we can say response.body.surname. Uh, and we want this to be equal to Colombo. So if we save that um, now, hang on, there's an error here. Oh, my bad. That should be everything we need to do. So we can just copy that. And um, I hope this works and submit it. And we can see that all the tests have passed. So again, what this does is it sends a request put request to slash travelers and it, inside the request body it puts the surname as Colombo and then it um, runs a function this function when it's been completed and if there's a response there what it does is it checks if the status of the response is 200 which means it was successful the type is application slash json which is a json response it checks if the um, name field from the request body uh, right here is equal to cristoforo and it checks if the uh, surname field of the response body which is right here is equal to colombo and if that's all okay it won't throw an error and it will just call done to tell free code cam that it's finished and they can check everything's worked so that's all you need to do here. So we need we just have to write the tests to make sure that we test these properties and then we're good to go.